Season's greetings, Linden family. From our home to your home, we wish for you God's choicest blessings. You know, as Christians, during this time of year, at the forefront of our minds is the first advent of our Savior. Yes, we do acknowledge that the birth date of Christ was not December 25th, but undoubtedly, this season affords us deliberate reflection upon Him as the greatest gift ever given to this world. His birth was neither preceded nor followed by fanfare. In fact, there were no living quarters to accommodate His delivery. A foretelling of His life on earth, He would own no home, no wardrobe, no cattle, no land, nor boat. And yet He proved to be our most concrete example in how we should live. A valuable takeaway to this truth is that we don't need wealth or possessions to impact the lives of others. Changing the world around us requires only a heart filled with love and kindness. We experience these by simply allowing the life of the Savior to live through us. Our prayer this season is that we would make room for love and kindness. Whether you're spending this holiday alone or in a home packed with family and friends, let there be room for love and kindness. Make space for those who are hurting. Send a thoughtful text. In every way possible, be intentional with gestures that represent the love and kindness of our God. Lyndon, it's really on that note that we thank you for always making room for your pastoral families. Thank you for opening your hearts to us and our children. You are a blessing to the shepherds who lead you. On behalf of Pastor and Sister Dixon, our children, Katie, Zoe, and Caleb, we wish you a heartfelt holiday season. And may the joy and love of Jesus be found in every home. Season's greetings.